morning, Discover Scholars, and welcome to another Discover Time at the West End Library with me, Miss Judy. Um, the book I'm going to read to you today is, it's a brand new book. We just got it here at the West End Library, and when I saw it, I thought, oh, I have got to read this book to the Discover kids. So, I'm going to read this to you. It's called Lewis, and it's written by Tom Lichtenheld, and the pictures were drawn by Ju Julie Rowan Zock. On the back it says, A Boy and His Bear, A Love Story. Apparently he got the bear, Lewis, as a gift, because he's coming out of a gift box. Lewis. From day one. Oh, he's brand new. Lewis is. Things have gone downhill. I've been a pillow. This is Lewis talking. He says, I've been a pillow. A hanky and a lunch for a prehistoric beast. I've been buried alive, thrown into a hurricane, and hung out to dry. Look, he buried him in his sandbox. His mom put him in the washing machine to clean him, and then she hung him up to dry on the clothesline. I've been left to the mercy of wild animals, poked by needles, and made an accessory to crime. Oh, look at the dog. The dog drooled on him. The mom had to sew him back together and they went in and scared the sister while she was sleeping. Hmm. I don't recommend that. I've been x-rayed, milk sprayed, and mislaid. Looks like they were at the airport and he had to put the bear through the machine. And here he's got milk from his breakfast cereal on the bear. And there, he left him on the bus. Oh no! The poor bear. Sometimes if you leave something on a bus, you never see it again. Oh, the bear says, I can bear it no longer. The next time this kid squeezes me, I'm out of here. He is not a happy bear. Well, no sense running away in the rain. He would get all wet in the rain. It's a little rainy out today. But as soon as little sister wraps up this tea party, I'm packing my bag. He doesn't look happy to be at that tea party. Oh, here we go. Meanwhile, I need to build up my strength for the getaway. Looks like he ate a cupcake. He's got cupcake frosting on his face. Seriously, right after we do our show and tell routine, I'm history. He's still planning to leave as soon as he can. But there he is at show and tell at the school. I know, I know. We're awesome. Do you think he's really? 
really gonna leave? Okay, this is perfect. The minute that light goes out, I'm off like a dirty shirt, making like a tree and leaving. He is planning to run away. The boy's getting ready for bed. Okay, now he's going to make his getaway. The boy wakes up. Come on, Lewis, you silly bear. You couldn't go to sleep without Lewis. On second thought, a bear can do worse. I guess he changed his mind. He's going to hang around. I like this book. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to read it. Okay. <clears throat> if, uh, if you are interested in reading this book, you can have your grown-up uh, go on the library's website and request it, or they can call the library and we'll be glad to check it out for you and have it ready for you to pick up. But speaking of checking out books, I wanted to select some books to show you as you know, um, Halloween is coming up at the end of October, and some of you are probably getting your costume ready and, and you're thinking about it already. I just want you to know we have many Halloween books to choose from if you're interested in, in reading any. Um, I'm going to show you three today. Here's one called The Runaway Pumpkin by Kevin Lewis. Duck and Goose, Honk, Quack, Boo, by Tad Hills, and Stumpkin, by Lucy Ruth Cummins. And these three are all available, plus many more we have. If you're interested, just let us know. All right, calendars. Once again, it's still the month of October, the middle month of fall. We've been talking about um, the first day of the week as Monday. Um, that's the day you go back to school after the weekend. And today, of course, is Tuesday. That's Discover Day. We are in the season of fall or autumn. And today, it was raining when I came to the library. It's been raining since Sunday night. But that's a good thing because it's been very dry and we need the water. We need the rain. Okay, our color today, I mean our color, <laughs> our calendar is October 2020. This is the year we are in, 2020. Today is Tuesday, October 13th, right there. So let's say our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. All right, our color, of course, this month is orange, orange. The shape is the circle. Circles have no sides and no corners. They are nice and round, circle. Our nursery rhyme is Little Miss Mo Oh, you know, I forgot to look up what curds and whey are. I'll try to write myself a note and look that up for next week. But there's little Miss Muffet, and she is not happy about that big, creepy spider coming down. So let's say this together. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. 
Along came a spider, yuck, who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ugh. I'll tell you. And this month, our number is two. Number two. Two. Um, we can sing this old man. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe. With a knick-knack patty rack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Two. I have some things to show you that are two. They're very small. I hope you can see them. Two train engines. And they're orange. One, two. Two little airplanes. One, two. Two little orange, I think they look like tugboats. One, two. Two little cars. I bet you ride in a car all the time. One, two. And two little tiny helicopters. One, two. Two is a great number. It really comes in handy. We have two of things all the time. We have two hands, two thumbs, two eyes, uh, two feet. Lots of things with twos. All right, let's do our letters and sight words. Letter D. D makes the D, D. Sound. Drink. I I had a drink of water. Drink. Dance. I went to the dance. Dog. There's a dog. Dog. Do you have a dog at home? E makes the eh, eh sound. Elephant. I saw an elephant at the zoo. Ear, ear. This is my ear. Egg. I had an egg for breakfast. F makes the f sound. Fast. She can run fast. Fly. I would like to fly in an airplane. Fish, fish. We have a goldfish at our house. Good. Well, today I have a little, I guess you call it a science demonstration for you. We're going today, today we're going to talk about light and heavy. And to demonstrate that, I have a couple of items here. I have a small stone and I have feather. Notice the feather is orange for October. So, one of these things is heavy and the other is light. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them one at a time and we'll see which one we think is heavier. Okay? First, I'm going to drop the little stone. Do you think that was heavy? Kind of. Now I'm going to drop the feather. Hmm. That didn't make as loud a noise. And it seemed to take longer. 
What do you think would happen if I drop them both at the same time? Do you think they'll fall at the same rate of speed? Or do you think one will fall faster? Which one do you think will fall faster? The stone or the feather? Let's see. Ready? Go. I think the stone fell first. It hit the table first. We could do that again just to make sure. Ready? Go. Definitely the stone hit the table first. So that means the stone is heavier. The feather is lighter because it took longer to fall. So we've learned heavy and light. Although this is such a small stone, it's not very heavy. But we might see our friends, the stone and the feather again next week. We'll see what happens. Well, that's all Miss Judy has for you today. Remember to keep washing your hands and wearing your masks and keep smizing and I hope to see you back here again next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.